This is an example of two large-scale irrigation systems located at the UF IFAS Plant Science Research and Education Unit in Citra, Florida. The first is the center pivot irrigation system, which uses a pipeline that rotates around a central point where the underground pipeline is connected to the center structure. From there, the water is distributed to the sprinklers by the pipeline, which is supported by a series of triangular supports with wheels powered by high voltage electric motors. Center pivot irrigation systems are often used in medium to large scale farming operations throughout the United States for a wide variety of crops. In contrast to the circular pattern of a center pivot, linear move systems were developed to irrigate in rectangular patterns as they move across the field. This irrigation system moves in a straight line over a field and the water is supplied through a hose that is dragged behind. The linear irrigation machine moves down the field using sensors guided by a buried cable to maintain a straight line. At the end of the field, a device stops the movement when it contacts a switch mechanism on the machine. Let's examine the features common to both systems. This is an electric pump motor. The pump is used to move groundwater up and into the irrigation line. The pump is operated such that a drop in pressure triggers the pump to start. The drop in pressure occurs when a valve is opened, releasing the pressure in the system. The backflow prevention assembly prevents water from flowing backwards into the aquifer and potentially contaminating it. The assembly consists of a dual set of check valves and air relief valves. A flow meter is used to measure the volume of water passing through. This meter is used to track how much water is applied through the irrigation system over the crop season. The pressure tank helps to maintain pressure in the system and buffers changes in pressure based on demand. This helps to protect the pump. After the pressure tank, a gate valve leads to an underground pipeline which is used to carry the water under high pressure to the irrigation machine. An alternative to a large pressure tank is a cycle stop valve, which has a small pressure tank and can be used to maintain constant flow regardless of downstream pressure. In a center pivot, the pipeline connects to the center structure, while in the linear system, a movable hose connects to the pipeline. The water is distributed to the sprinklers by the overhead pipeline, which is supported by a series of triangular towers with motorized wheels. The pressure regulator is used to maintain a constant pressure, so there is a constant flow rate despite variations in supply pressure. These are low pressure regulators, for example, less than 20 PSI, which reduce main supply pressure and reduces energy consumption. The drop tube allows the sprinkler to be closer to the ground for water to be more resistant to wind drift. There are two common sprinkler types used on these systems, wobblers and stream type. The wobbler sprinklers have a part that wobbles and creates a random pattern of droplets more like natural rainfall. The stream type sprinklers have distinct streams of water to make them resistant to wind drift, but these don't provide as uniform coverage as the wobbler. The water finally exits into the atmosphere through the nozzles. They are constructed so that they can be easily disassembled for field maintenance, such as clearing clogs, or replacing nozzles with different diameters. The diameter of the nozzle determines the wetted diameter for a given pressure. Since a center pivot leaves the corners of a square field unirrigated, many machines have an end gun that can be used to apply water to those corners. However, the end gun is not nearly as efficient a method of application as the low pressure sprinklers on drop tubes shown on these machines. 
Usually, the end gun will have a small booster pump since the main system pressure is very low at the end of the system. A movement speed of the machine is selected on the main control panel as a percentage of full speed when all towers or nearly all towers are moving constantly. Since the volume of water output through the sprinklers is constant, the movement speed of these systems determines the application rate of irrigation, that is, inches applied per hour.